Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. Question says, show that of all the rectangles inscribed in a given fixed circle, the square has the maximum area. First of all, let us understand that if function f is defined on interval i and c belongs to interval i such that f double dash c exists. If f dash c is equal to 0 and f double dash c is less than 0, then point c is called the point of root of maximum. start the solution. Now let us assume ABCD is a rectangle whose length is 2x and breadth is 2y which is inscribed in a circle. Circle is having its center O and radius R. So we can write let ABCD be a rectangle in a given circle of radius R with center O. Now let length of the rectangle is equal to 2x. is equal to 2y now a represents the area of the rectangle which is given by length into breadth now a is equal to 2x multiplied by 2y now 2x multiplied by 2y is equal to 4xy. Now let us consider right triangle ABC. In right triangle ABC, AC square is equal to BC square plus AB square by Pythagoras theorem. We know AC is the diameter of the circle and radius of the circle is R. So we can write AC is equal to 2R. We know diameter is the double of radius. So we can write 2R square is equal to 2X square plus 2Y square. We know AC is equal to 2R. AB is equal to 2X. BC is equal to 2Y. So here we have substituted their corresponding values in this expression. Now simplifying we get 4R square is equal to 4X square plus 4Y square. This implies R square is equal to X square plus Y square. Dividing both sides by 4 we get R square is equal to X square plus Y square. Now subtracting x square from both sides we get r square minus x square is equal to y square or we can write y square is equal to r square minus x square. Now this implies y is equal to under root of r square minus x square. We know area is equal to 4x5. Let us name this expression as 1 and y is equal to square root of r square minus x square. Let us name this expression as 2. Now, substituting the value of y from 2 in 1, we get A 
is equal to 4x multiplied by square root of r square minus x square. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get dA upon dx is equal to 4x multiplied by 1 upon 2 multiplied by under root r square minus x square multiplied by minus 2x plus square root of r square minus x square multiplied by 4. Here we have applied the product rule to find the derivative of this term. Now simplifying further we get dA upon dx is equal to 4r square minus 8x square upon square root of r square minus x square. Now let us find out the points at which dA upon dx is equal to 0. dA upon dx is equal to 0 implies 4r square minus 8x square upon square root of r square minus x square is equal to 0. Now multiplying both sides by square root of r square minus x square, we get 4r square minus 8x square is equal to 0. Now adding 8x square on both sides, we get 4r square is equal to 8x square. Now dividing both sides by 4, we get r square is equal to 2x square. Now taking square root on both sides, we get r is equal to root 2 multiplied by x. Here we have neglected r equal to minus root 2x. As we know, radius can never be negative. Now we know dA upon dx is equal to 4r square minus 8x square upon square root of r square minus x square. Now Differentiating both sides with respect to x again, we get d square a upon dx square is equal to square root of r square minus x square multiplied by minus 16x minus 4r square minus 8x square multiplied by 1 upon twice under root r square minus x square multiplied by minus 2x upon square root of r square minus x square whole square. Here we have applied the quotient rule to find the derivative of this term. Now this implies d square a upon dx square is equal to r square minus x square multiplied by minus 16x plus x multiplied by 4r square minus 8x square upon under root of r square minus x square multiplied by r square minus x square here in the numerator, we have subtracted these two terms by taking their LCM and we know square of square root of r square minus x square is equal to r square minus x square only. Now simplifying further, we get d square a upon dx square is equal to x multiplied by 8x square minus 12r square upon r square minus x square raised to the power 3 upon 2. Now we know dA upon dx is equal to 0 at r equal to root 2x. Let us now find out the value of d square upon dx square at r equal to root 2x. This is equal to x multiplied by 8x square minus 12 multiplied by root 2x square upon root 2x square minus x square whole raised to the power 3 upon 2. Now this is equal to x multiplied by 8x square minus 12 multiplied by 2x square upon 2x square minus x square raised to the power 3 upon 2. 
we know square of root 2x is equal to 2x square. Now simplifying we get x multiplied by minus 16x square upon x square raised to the power 3 upon 2. Now this is equal to minus 16x cube upon x square multiplied by 3 upon 2. 2 and 2 will cancel each other and we will get x cube in the denominator. This is equal to minus 16x cube upon x cube. x cube and x cube will cancel each other and we get minus 16. So d square a upon dx square at r equal to root 2x is equal to minus 16 which is less than 0. Now we get at r equal to root 2x dv upon dx is equal to 0 and d square v upon dx square is less than 0. This implies r is equal to root 2x is a point of local maxima. So we can say area of rectangle is maximum at r is equal to root 2x. Now substituting this value of r in expression 2 we get y is equal to root 2x square minus x square. Now this implies y is equal to 2x square minus x square. This implies y is equal to square root of, we know 2x square minus x square is equal to x square. So we get y is equal to square root of x square. Now this implies y is equal to x. Now if we multiply both sides by 2, we get 2y is equal to 2x. Now 2y is equal to 2x implies all the sides of the rectangle ABCD are equal. This implies ABCD is a square. Now we get out of all the rectangles inscribed in a given fifth circle, the square has the maximum area. So this is our required answer. Hence proved. This completes the session. Hope you understood the session. Take care and have a nice day.